I actually wrote this review back when this film came out in 2015, to which the official team and one of the actors personally liked on Facebook. I privately PM'd them on Messenger and they thanked me. So here's the mildly edited version of that review for video. It's pretty cool that they responded. Several live action DBZ films have been made, and even more fan films, and one Hollywood disaster of a film. Fan films so far have been progressively better, and the one came before Light of Hope was based off the first half of the History of Trunks DBZ storyline, which was one of the best of the original lineup of DBZ movies, and now another fan film was created in honor of Toriyama's work, because The Fall of Men is unequivocally the best DBZ live action film ever made. I'm not even really sure where to begin because I love it so much. I'll get to the little weaknesses first, even though they aren't really weaknesses, just constraints and what people will take issue with. This is a fan film and it's taken several years to produce, all for non-profit. Some of the visual effects are noticeably lower in polish than what we as moviegoers are used to. Also, the storyline has been slightly altered from the original. However, in the context of this film, this all works perfectly. Now, the performances are usually the weakest portion of a DBZ film. However, they are incredible here. I won't spoil it, but there's little dialogue in the story, just a narration that has an enormous payoff towards the end that as a fanboy, to the point it really hit me emotionally as hard as anything a DBZ ever has. And I've been a DBZ fan for as long as I can remember. The cinematography was breathtaking. The musical score was emotional and epic. The editing was phenomenal and the art direction was masterfully crafted and was surprisingly low key. And key moments from the history of Trunks are translated powerfully. And I will talk about it. The visual effects were quite impressive. For something as low budget as this, it just goes to show that Hollywood could make a legitimate, epic DBZ live action film with the right creatives and not screw it up while keeping the appeal of the anime and manga. Stell's design was awesome. He looked the same, but different. I especially enjoyed his slimy bug look and the aspects of Frieza's DNA showing up more so in his appearance. The motion capture was pretty well done, and I also love the look of the Super Saiyan transformation, especially when it happens the first time. When you watch the documentary from behind the scenes and see how they produce everything, and what they learned along the way, it's pretty amazing that this guy even made it all. For the type of film that it is, the visual effects just really blow me away. It's hard for me to find so much fault in the production like this as I can deeply relate. I encouraged all DBZ fans to watch this and share. Let's help these guys out. Who knows what kind of content they can provide in the future. Do yourself a favor and take some time to watch. Hats off to the entire cast and crew. You made my inner fanboy glow with excitement, delight, and reverence to your piece of work. I was left with nothing but a huge smile as the credits rolled and a puddle of tears with that insanely emotional final twist. Absolutely incredible. Thank you for that, Black Smoke Films. Even my wife really liked it. I give Dragon Ball Z The Fall of Men 5 out of 5 stars. Sumi, I loved it. Just wish it was a little bit longer. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're almost through all the DBZ content. We'll take a break and do some other stuff for a while. As you watch and as you think on these things, remember, always look for the good.